YouTube channel. For today's video, I was supposed to recreate my look during my senior prom nung high school. Kaso I'm having a hard time recalling what it looked like. Tapos, hindi rin naman ako yung gumawa nun sa hair and makeup ko. And it was one of the days na nagpagawa ako sa iba ng hair and makeup. Kasi uh, sa buong buhay ko, actually, tatlong beses lang ako nagpagawa ng hair and makeup sa ibang tao. Pero the rest, ako na yung gumagawa sa sarili ko nun. So, since sa iba ko nga pinagawa yung hair and makeup ko nun, I'm having a hard time trying to recall it para magawa ko sana siya to share it with you guys. So, instead, I'm gonna be sharing some tips on how to become a prom queen. So, of course, everything that you're gonna do on your prom night or in preparation for it is still up to you. Decision nyo yan. But I still want to share what I experienced or like what I did which led me to becoming a prom queen when I was in high school. Hindi ako nagpabrag guys ha. I just know that there are a number of high school girls out there that have prom queen dreams. So I'm here trying to help you achieve them and Ayun, kung hindi man kayo maging prom queen, don't worry, just enjoy the night, guys. Hindi yun yung magdedetermine ng future nyo. Hindi man kayo mabigyan ng prom queen as a title during your prom night. It doesn't really matter, girls. Don't worry. Kasi, women are created to be queens. Like, girl. Yun, pero, andito ako para itry natulungan kayong ma-achieve yung mga prom queen goals nyo, prom queen... Prom queen dreams nyo. So, ayun, I'm not exactly sure that these tips are gonna work out for you guys out there. Pero nag-work out siya sa akin eh. So, yun, try nyo na lang din. Yun, so, let's start. So, first, you have to plan your outfit for the prom a month or two before the event. Kasi, kailangan mong mag-decide eh kung magpapatahi ka ba, bibili ka ba, manghihiram ka. Depends on your budget. And, based from my experience nun, uh, nahirapan kaming humanap ng magtatahi na maganda, na mura. Kasi, hello, isang beses ko lang naman gagamitin yung gown. So, I really wanted it to be affordable. And, in the end, we decided to go to Divisoria. And, <laughs> yes! from Queen pero Divisoria ang gown. Um my gown was I'm I'm, ayan, I'm gonna show you what it looks like na lang sa pictures. Yeah, my prom gown was only for 3000 pesos in Divisoria. I forgot exactly where in Divisoria eh. Basta yung mga loob na parang mall type. Hindi ko alam kung bukas pa sila kasi it, it has been years since I was in Divisoria. Pero ayun, basta yung mga mall sa loob ng Divisoria, they have a lot of gowns there na affordable and doon ko rin binili actually yung debut gown ko na itong isa itong nude din yan papakita ko rin diba same 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 yung mga gusto kong color kaya ito yung sunod ko ngayon mili ko sa mga nude colors anyway my prom gown was only for 3,000 pesos tapos yung details niya as in hindi siya parang pang 3,000 para siyang pinagawa ko para siyang pinacustomize ko sa sarili kong body, body shape, body figure, and it was perfect. As in, wala kaming kailangan ni adjust sa kanya. Maganda rin yung bulad nung yung ball, pagka-ball nung gown. Tama ba? Ano bang tawag? Yung pagkagana nung gown. Yun, and nung time na yun, sabi ko, nung nakita ko yung gown na yun, I was actually with my sister. Nung nakita namin, sabi namin, shocks, eto na yun. Eto na yun. Pero ayun lang, girls, kapag may na-feel na kayong ganun sa gown, na parang alam nyo na na siya na yun, if you have more time, I suggest you still look for other options. Kasi baka makahanap pa kayo ng mas mura, or makahanap pa kayo ng parang mas intense yung feeling nyo na shocks, eto na yun. Ganun. Yun. Kasi kahit nakita na namin na sister ko yung gown na yun, we still uh, went around to canvas other uh, gowns. And may mga nakita kami yung mas mura actually, and magaganda rin silang lahat. It's all in Divisoria, girls. Sobrang sulit doon. Pero yun, in the end, yun, yun talaga yung pinuntahan namin. Kasi parang sabi ko, it's it's simple but elegant. Yun. Kaya kailangan yung magplano a month or two before your prom. Kasi para hindi kayo, alam mo yun, yung malapit na yung prom, mahasel pa kayo. Di ba syempre, every one of us want to look good in prom. It doesn't matter kung tihiram kayo, kung bibili kayo, magpapatahi kayo, as long as you're ready for it. So another tip, if you're planning for your prom outfit, I suggest Kung may date kayo, uh, makapag-usap kayo sa kanya, tapos itry nyo kung kaya naman ng budget na mag-matchy-matchy kayo. Kasi nung time na yon yung prom date ko, nag-decide kami na pareho kami ng suot. So, ayan, ayan yung picture namin. Yeah. Tapos yon at the end of the night, prom queen ako, tapos siya yung prom king. So, parang yung outfit din kasi, parang nag a add siya dun sa chemistry nyo when you're together. Especially sa pictures, sa mga... Yun, kapag when you're communicating with other people and then you're together, parang ang cute tingnan. Yun. So, kung hindi naman kayo ng budget, it's okay. Hindi nyo kailangang masyadong mag-effort. Pero, yun lang. Suggestion lang siya. 
Yan, kung wala din kayong date, okay lang din yan. May mga nagiging prom queen naman yata na walang date. Nung time kasi ng prom namin, hindi necessarily na mag-partner yung magiging prom king and queen. Queen. Prom king and prom queen kasi pinagbotohan siya nung lahat ng mga attendees nung prom. So, yung pagiging prom queen ko, tsaka yung pagiging prom king nung date ko nun, it was not based dun sa pagiging mag-partner namin, but rather on dun sa individual votes. So, feeling ko lang, sobrang laking impact lang nung nangyari kasi pareho kami ng suot, yon pareho kami ng suot, pareho kami ng team, tas we're always, we were always together nung time na yon So, ayun, feeling ko yun yung naka-apekto sa voting nila. Siguro, ay, parang magandang prom king and queen kong dalawang. So, I don't know, I don't know what what was on their minds, but kami yung ginawa nilang prom king and Pero, yon Number two, wear your best hair and makeup. It doesn't matter kung magpapagawa kayo sa iba or you're gonna do your own hair and makeup, pero kailangan yung mag-decide agad if you're gonna go for the natural look or for the bold look. It depends kasi yun eh, sa isosot nyo. So, you have to plan then kung ano yung magiging makeup nyo that will match your outfit for the night. So, kasi no high school ako, ano ko eh, parang mahilig ako sa ano, simpleng ganda. Basta yung ganon, so parang yun yung belief ko nun. Pero ngayon kasi na iba na yung panahon eh. So, depends sa inyo. Basta basically, ang gusto ko lang sabihin dito is that as long as your hair and makeup matches what you're wearing on prom night, it's one step towards being a queen. Kasi what you're wearing says a lot about you. So, ayan. Number three, be on time. Uh, nung time na yon actually, we were a bit late. So, huwag nyo kaming gagayahin. Hindi maganda yon Pero kasi, naka-apekto siya sa amin in a good way. Ano ba talaga sinasabi ko? Be on time or be late? Share ko lang din. Naka-apekto siya sa amin nung date ko nun na in a good way. Kasi nung late kami, tapos parang grand entrance. Kasi lahat nandun. So, marami kaming audience. Anyway, yon Pero, I suggest then na don't be early. Basta don't be early, don't be late, be on time. Para sakto lang yung entrance nyo, ganyan. Yun. Baka, nako, baka magpalate na kayo kasi kinuwento ko experience ko. Pero hindi namin sinasadya yun, guys. So, basta don't be late, always be punctual, ganyan, ganyan. Yun. Basta, ano lang kayo, hanap kayo ng magandang timing kung kailan kayo papasok. Kasi, yun din yun eh, yung mga entrance na ganyan. Huwag kayong papasok kapag marami pang pumapasok. Unless required sa school nyo yun. Sa amin kasi ano eh, iba-iba ng pasok eh, iba-iba ng timing. So parang inintay namin na ano, na kami lang yung papasok para, hmm, pak, ganay. Number four, look elegant but stay humble. So etong number four na to, medyo subjective siya, pero naniniwala ako na mahalaga yung karakter ng isang tao when attending uh, different social gatherings, social events. And yung pagiging elegante nyo on how you look doesn't have to reflect on your attitude. Kasi, you can look elegant, you can look beautiful, you can look like a queen, pero hindi nyo kailangan maging mayabang about it. Humility is actually a part of being classy, eh. Na, hindi nyo kailangan ipagmayabang kung ano yung meron kayo. Pag may nagsabi sa'yo na may maganda, may maganda on your prom night, say thank you. And then, and then you can say it back if you, if you feel like saying it back. If not, just say thank you. Iba yung humble sa pahumble, ah. And lastly, don't forget to be you. Hindi nyo kailangan magpanggap to be a different person just to become a prom queen. Kasi hindi, hindi kayo magiging prom queen, guys, kapag ginawa nyo yun. Because people tend to love natural. People tend to love what's sincere. And if, alam yan, if mawalata ng tao sa prom night nyo na parang, Teka, she's a different person today. In a bad way, ha? Ano to? Ginagawa niya lang to para maging prom queen? Parang, no. Prom night is all about you. It's all about your batchmates. It's all about your entire high school experience. It's like a way of like saying goodbye. Kasi, honestly ha, there are only a few people from my high school that I can remember that I still hang out with ngayong present. Pero, guys, yung, isa, yung prom night, isa yun sa mga pinakang memorable na mangyayari sa high school nyo or sa buong buhay nyo. And you don't want it to be full of fakeness dahil lang gusto nyo maging prom queen. Isa sa mga mahalaga talagang bagay when you're going out to prom uh, with a date or without a date, doesn't matter, is you really have to be you. You really have to show what, what you are. You really have to be what you are on that night. And yun, mag-enjoy ka lang. Do whatever you want as long as you're not hurting other people and hindi ka naka-offend ng teachers kasi baka hindi ka graduate kapag na-offend mo sila. <laughs> yan. Yan. Tsaka ka na mag-gumawa ng kalokohan kung trip mo pagkatapos mong graduate. Joke lang, joke lang. Joke lang po, baka pagalitan niyo. So, ayun. Those are the tips that I can share on how to become a prom queen based from experience. Kayo na bahala kung gumana yun sa inyo. So, 
Thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you on the next one.